So here's a 4K projector here. Yeah. At the CS2020, at the Showstoppers. Hey guys, Hi. yeah, my so name is Sean, and uh, we have this uh, new X10 4KE here. This is uh, our new 4K LED smart projector. It's meant for portability, so it's got you see a little uh, small handle in the back. You can carry it from uh, your living room to your bed bedroom or your backyard for movie nights. Uh, it's got. Uh, Harman Kardon Stilicus built in on both sides. Uh, sound quality is really good. Compatible with Alexa and Google Assistant, so you can do voice control. Uh, turn on the projector, turn off the projector, or change the volume using Alexa. Um, hey Google. I'm sorry? Uh, he, uh, Alexa. Oh, it's not connected right now. It's, it's just okay. too loud right now to, to use Alexa. Um, okay. But yeah, it's got Wi-Fi built in, uh, Bluetooth. So if you want to use it just as a Bluetooth speaker, you turn on the Bluetooth mode and it connects to your phone, you can use it as a Bluetooth speaker. Because you have powerful speakers in there. Yeah, it's got really good uh, powerful speakers on both sides. And the cheap price is uh, $14.99. It's uh, 4K UHD. And this is just the cover for the, the ports. What ports? Right here. Uh, here. So once I unplug all this thing, you can, you can just cover the ports. Basically, so the reason you put a speaker in there is so you can uh, uh, you can drown out the fan noise, right? I'm joking. Uh, actually, it's How not loud bad. is it? Uh, because it's LED base, it's not as hot as lamp, so it's not as. I would say that the, the fan noise is lower compared to a, a regular lamp-based projector. Do you have the same version without the speaker? No, uh, all these have speakers built in. <coughs> All these. Yeah, we so just found out. It's, just found out it's more convenient. It's on a 4K right here. It is on a 4K here, and then the good thing about this is that it's really quiet at 20 decibels. So this is probably one of the quietest projectors on the market right now. And when when it's running, you can't even hear it. Like 20 decibels is like kind of like the ambient noise in your room without anything nice. on. So. And. Um, they both can do 20, 30 thousand hours. Uh, yes, kind of, correct. Uh, uh, they last up to 30 thousand hours. Uh, just to put it in perspective, you use it for four hours a day, it will last you for like more than 15 years. Um, <coughs> so you should definitely use it for 24 hours a day. If you want to, yeah, you can live them on be, uh, 24 hours a day. Um, at least five, uh, four years. Yeah. Something. Um, so they're both 4K. This one is meant for portability, that one is for. Basically, mounting it on the ceiling. If you have a dedicated movie room, you can mount this on, and uh, it's got better color reduction, uh, brighter, better speakers. So and 2,900. I'm sorry. 2,900. Yes, correct. It's 2,900 lumens. And this? This is the 2,400 lumens. It's not very far from each not other. Not very far. Yeah. It's just that the other features like lens shift and the, the more powerful speakers built in and it makes it a little bit different. But the best thing you can do is, um, is have external speakers, no? Yes, you can connect to the external speakers as well. And so, if you have a surround sound set up in your movie room, you can uh, connect to your speakers. So it's just a mini jack? Yes, it's, a, it's got the 3.5 millimeter jack. Also, it has optical out, so it can connect to your, your speakers as well. Can you do wireless speakers? Not at this point, not wireless speakers. But you can use it as a Bluetooth speaker like this one. You can connect to your phone and connect, uh, cast your music and stream it Bluetooth. Bluetooth. So this one is uh, 4K also, right? In the future, but this one is not 4K right now. This is uh, a 480p projector. Um, the benefit of this is that we make it really small. It's half pound, uh, four by four inch uh, size dimensions. <laughs> So it's uh, more of a fun product, uh, you know, great for the dorm rooms, uh, for these Good small price, bedrooms. Small price. Uh, we have two different models. Uh, the one without Wi-Fi is, is $169, and then the one with Wi-Fi is $199. So they look exactly the same. It's just that one with Wi-Fi, one without Wi-Fi. What you will do with the Wi-Fi? You will not go uh, on Netflix, no? Yeah, you can ca actually cast your screen. If you have a smartphone. Wireless display. Yeah, wireless display. Um, you can stream videos, like maybe similar to Chromecast, you can stream videos. But it's not Chromecast. It's not what? It's not Chromecast. It's uh, It's not Miracast. Chromecast. It's Mirrorcast. Yeah, it's kind of like you said that it works with the native uh, 
screen mirroring app on your iPhone. And you can't install Chromecast support? Um, no. It's, For some reason. You know, you can, you can plug in a Chromecast. It's got an HDMI port right here, so you can plug in the Chromecast, Fire TV, a Roku stick. And uh, you can power it through the USB that's Yeah, there. USB port as well. It has so a 5 volt out. the cable over to power yep. the Chromecast. USB, yeah. You can plug in your favorite dongle. How long uh, is battery? It's two and a half hours battery life. So you can and watch a movie. Yeah, or if you want to extend it, you can use the power bank. Plug in the power bank and you can extend the battery for as long as, a, you know, depend on how, depends on how big your battery bank is. You need a, f a powerful power bank to run off no, it? No, it's just any regular cell phone charger. Yeah. <coughs> it's any cell regular cell phone charger will work with this. You don't need a 3A power bank or a 9 yeah, 2A will work. Watt, 9 yeah, yeah. Okay. What and is then, this one? And this one is uh, M2. Uh, it's a full HD. Uh, native 1080p projector, uh, LED base as well. Um, very similar, has uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This has, this one has uh, common current speaker built in as well. Um, so basically, it's a very very similar speaker uh, projector, but it's a smaller form factor compared to the 4K ones. So and you have speakers in all of them. In all the projectors, basically. People love that. Yeah, they love it. It's just more convenient. They have the option to use this building speaker, or if they have a surround sound set up already, they can connect to their surround sound system. I'd like to see some really cool wireless speaker systems with projectors, and not use the built-in project uh, speakers, <coughs> but to have external wireless speakers, and it it could be like uh, using a special RF or something that's easy to use and only work with that. Or maybe just Bluetooth. Yeah, I mean, there's TWS. like Bluetooth adapters out there. They're fairly inexpensive. You plug into the 3.5 millimeter output, and they actually broadcast the music or the sound in, in all, the surround, all the speakers. Basically. Sometimes there's a lag. Yeah, it could be a lag, but I think the... the is there a way to not have a lag? Yeah, the latest version of the adapters out there, I think they minimize the, the lag. Uh, the, you know, the input lag, so. So how big is ViewSonic in the uh, projector business? We've been in the projector business for over 20 years. Uh, we started with monitors first, and then about maybe 10 years later, we uh, got into the projector market. And I think since the 90s, we have projectors, you know. Are you top four, top five in the world? Or? I think right now, uh, based on the latest, you know, uh, research, uh, you know, I would say that based on the, the latest uh, research company, the data provided by them, we are number two right now based on the volume unit sales. So it's Optima and then it's you? It's Epson and then... Uh, Epson. Yeah. You are number one DLP in the world? Uh, You're bigger than Optima? I think within the United States. Uh, US well, worldwide, I think we were top five. Top five? Yep. All right. But uh, ViewSonic is a um, company from where? Uh, we're headquartered in... Uh, Orange County, California, and we have uh, different locations around the world. And this is all technology from Taiwan or no? Uh, you know, China? Yeah, something? from Asia, I would say. We have different, you know, multiple, uh, work with multiple partners and factories. And you always with the latest, whatever DLP is ready to do, you will use it, right? It's always DLP. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we use 100% like DLP. So there's no 8K DLP yet? No, not yet. Coming soon. Before the Olympics? Well, let's hope that, you know. Right. So.